behind me now stands Bentall 4. But 35 years ago, that building was under construction. It was like any other construction site. Skilled workers building the infrastructure, the buildings, the bridges, the factories that allow all of the British Columbians to go to work. 35 years ago on this date, just behind us at Bentall 4, four carpenters fell to their deaths. They were on the 36th floor, fly form fell away from the, from the building, and they didn't get to go home that night. You know, construction is inherently dangerous, and we have so many workers that lose their lives every year. For the last year that was reported in 2014, we had 44 deaths. 18 due to trauma at the work site and 26 due to um, exposures. We need to do a better job of making our industry safer for those people that work on the tools. That's why we're here today. Together with employers, unions, associations and other stakeholders, we strive to collectively make workplaces safer. And they are becoming safer. Workplaces are safer today. Today there are fewer serious injuries and fewer worker-related deaths. Workplaces are safer, but we all know one death is one too many, and serious injuries are often life-altering. Health and safety, I think, back then was somewhat an afterthought, somewhat a sidebar thought. And in today's workplaces, we're starting to see more than ever before a culture of safety embedded into the work that's done. Uh, if you, you, you might, might say putting production and quality and safety together as, uh, as, as sort of cornerstones to what needs to be done in every work site. Um, we still have a long way to go. There's lots of work sites in British Columbia, certainly. There's lots of workers, lots of employers that need to strengthen health and safety, and we continue to work hard to do that. But I think um, the events that occurred way back back when, 35 years ago uh, today, uh, set the foundation for that. We're working with the BC government to make uh, apprenticeship training uh, more important than what it, what, uh, what it is currently. I mean, in our sector, we make certain that those who come into the apprenticeship system learn safety as much as they learn productivity. We want to make certain that they get to go home at the end of their shift. The BC government is also uh, starting to recognize that apprenticeship training means uh, an element of a huge element of safety, and that's very important. So, so we are working with uh, the minister, uh, Minister Bond, making certain that uh, we have better trained, safer workers. And you know what? When workers work safely, they're very productive. I never got to ride my bike with them again, or shoot hoops in the driveway, throw a ball around. Uh, there were so many things that we wanted to do together. <sighs> I can't look at my boys right now. I've got a couple of boys and a daughter, and I worry about them in the workplace. I hope they'll be safe. I hope that their employer will protect them and teach them how to be safe and how to use the equipment that they're supposed to use. Because I know that nobody is born with the knowledge to be safe. You don't come out of the womb knowing that. You don't leave high school knowing that. They don't have that training. Employers need to train workers. They need to be responsible and take care of like, every single one of them. You heard today um, the son of one of those workers. The message is still fresh. For those people that, uh, and for the 942 others that have died since that day, 35 years ago, the message is fresh every day. They wake up and, and they recognize that a father or a brother or an uncle, an aunt, a wife, they're not sitting in the living room with them. They're not out there on the balcony or on the patio turning a steak on the grill just because they went to work and they didn't come home. So that message is always fresh. It doesn't matter that we do it 35 times or that we do it 135 times. For those people, it's as though it was yesterday. It's a fresh message.